So obviously, Regis, you know, you're coming off a, a fight with Jack Catterall where maybe we didn't get the outcome we wanted. But I wanted to ask you because I saw you go back online and say you're not retiring. No, 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 I'm not. You know, retiring. and I, this is probably the second time I heard you say that because you said something similar after Devin. Do you really want to do bare knuckle, even if you, do, if it's I not do, a retirement? I, I do, I do want to do it, bro. It's like it's something I do want to do. I've been thinking about it for a long time, but I still feel like I got so much left in boxing. You know what I'm saying? With the Jack Catterall fight, bro, I was winning easily, bro. I was out boxing, I was winning so easy, and um, really, I knew I was get, I wasn't getting the decision, so then. I stepped it up and I got caught. Then I'm, I don't know if you see I'm living or I messed my ankle up and then after that I was just fighting off adrenaline, bro. So I couldn't do nothing after that. But I was, bro, I was I boxing was so easy. It was like an easy fight. Even my brother right here, he was like, man, this could be one of your easy fights. And it was, bro. Like the first six, seven rounds, it was easy. I was just, I boxing them, jabbing them, moving around. And um, like I said, he couldn't touch me. But then, like I said, I messed my foot up and I was just fighting. So I, for me, but that's something like not nah, my confidence. I'm not gonna lie, bro. My confidence is super high right now because I, I know what I was doing. I know how easy it was, but I just, like I said, I just messed my ankle up and that's it. Nah, shit happens for sure. What's the path forward? What's the path forward for you then? You know, if you're gonna still box, mm -hmm. how would you, you know in in a perfect world, how would you see it playing out? Who would be another opponent for you? Who could be the next fight for Regis? Man, I don't even got no names or nothing like that. I know I want to get back to the belt, but right now I probably I probably go like take um. Let me see how how I would probably do. I mean, really, really telling people I didn't really have a manager, bro, to be honest, for a long time. You know, so I've been doing everything myself. So now I'm gonna let my team kind of handle everything. Now I can go, I can go fight. What's up, what's up? <laughs> I can go now. I can go fight, bro. I can go, you know, so I can just do that and then um and let my management handle it. So you know, whatever they say, that's what I'm gonna do. But I definitely don't feel like, man, I'm. A, what's up, Stitch? How you doing? What's up? What up, Stitch? <laughs> yeah, come on, everybody, know. Um, so, <laughs> so, um, yeah, bro, I mean, I forgot what I was saying, right? Yeah, they me, they like showing that. you love, I get it, it's yeah, all good. Yeah, they me love, it's cool, it's cool, bro, yeah. Let me ask you this, what's up with this Devin thing? So, you know, I've been going back and forth, y'all already fought. Why yeah. do you, why do you think he, you know, you, you guys just can't seem to maybe, because it seemed like y'all was getting to a point where it was, it was cool, but then it went back the other way. All right, I mean, I don't know, bro, I, yeah, I don't know what's up with Devin, bro, it's like he, like, he beat me, right? Obviously, we say, we Devin, you beat me, you won. But then Ryan beat the brakes off his head. Ryan beat the shit off him. So anything <laughs> I say, anything I say, he like kind of trying to come back to me. But like, bro, Devin the child. At the end of the day, bro, Devin 25 years old. So he like a little kid, bro. He like a child. So I understand he like, he get emotional and all that type of stuff. And I saw, um, this people was telling me some stuff. Like he say, retire. And then he was like, oh, don't retire. And so I was like, bro, you might be. Are you, um, what's that, bipolar? You know what I'm saying? Is he crazy? Is he bipolar or something like that? I don't know. I don't know what's up with Devin. But, yeah, bro, like I said, bro, Devin, I mean, like I said, bro, he, he young, he young man. What's up? What's up with him? What's up with him? How you doing? What up? How you, How you doing, Jim? All good. All good. You retired, bro? I'm not retired. There's a word out there, bro. No, no, no. I'm not retired. I'm not retired. All right, good. Good to hear. Good to hear. All right, all right. All right, good to hear. I'm not retired, bro. Okay. Yeah. Um. But yeah, with Devin Bray, I mean, like I said, he, he young, you know, so he, you know, he young minded, and it's, you know, it is what it is. That's, that's all on him, but whatever. <laughs> is that a fight? And I know, I, you know, obviously it's politics, there's business, but is that a fight you would want back? Oh, for sure, for sure. With that fight, bro, I wasn't there. You know, if you can see mentally, bro, I just wasn't there at that fight at all. Um, fought terrible, wasn't there, mine wasn't there. So, you know, did a lot of bullshit in camp I wasn't supposed to do, but yeah, if, if I can one day, of course, get, get another one. You know, and just I've seen you obviously on the, in the field, you know, on the boxing scene a lot. A fight hype, we always cover you, mm -hmm. and I and I agree with that. You know, when I saw you in San Francisco for that fight in the hotel, I just knew it wasn't the Regis that I knew. Yeah, yeah. Is, what what do you think was affecting you so much? Distractions. The main thing is distractions. You know, like in inside the camp, outside the camp, leading up to the fight. Um, it was a lot of distractions, bro. It was a lot, it was a lot going on. Like all the people around me and stuff, they came. It was like to party. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like a big old party. Even when even when I, it, it's not. All the people around me, it's not just their fault, it's my fault also because you know, I was doing things I wasn't supposed to do in camp, you know what I'm saying? I was just living, just let's put like, just not living like a fighter, that's all. You know, as a fighter, you're supposed to live clean, you're supposed to do a lot of different stuff. And I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, but you know, I was doing some stuff that, you know, I wasn't supposed to be doing inside the camp, and um, that's what happened. I just wasn't there. It is what it is. Thoughts on this Devin Haney lawsuit? Um, I don't think that's the right thing to do. I mean, I, listen, you got to, one thing about like with Bill, He's um he's very clever. He does things like he's he's a chess player, but um it's the reason why he's doing it. I don't support it. I don't think that he should um I don't think that he should um what's that? Uh sue nobody and stuff, but at the same time I don't know, you know, you never know what's going on with him and we'll see how it play on um, along down the line.
Say less. Caterall, a guy you just fought, um, there's talks about him fighting Devin. How do you see that fight going if that were to be made? I think it's a it's a it's a good fight. I will say that Caterall is um he's he's more he's um he's more sneaky than what you think he is. You know what I'm saying? It's um he's Devin has more tools, and I say this, Devin has more tools. But Catterall is, is a he's just an aqua fighter. He's more sneaky than what you think he is. You look at him like and I, I did I did the same thing where I looked at him like from a smoke this boy. And I was easily, but I just think that Wisdom Dragon got like more Devin has more tools than Catterall. Now I'm not gonna say who can win what, who can win or nothing like that, but at the same time Catterall is he's like a basically he's like a sleeper, you know? Like he's not somebody that you just You'll, you'll look at him on, on film and be like, bro, I'm a smoker. You know what I'm saying? You get in there with him, it's like, it's a little different. Just really because he's just an aqua fighter. He's real, real aqua. You call, you calling it 50 50 or you saying uh, he has a chance, but you favor Devin? Uh, I think that he everybody has a chance in the boxing ring. Everybody does have a chance. But um, I, I won't say I favor him, but I just think that Devin has more tools. You know, I, I think that I have more tools than him, but he still won. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it all depends on that any given night, what's going to happen. You know, it depends on a lot of times, it depends on what a fight is also. You know, like for me, I fought in hometowns the last two fights. You know, I probably should never did it, but that does play a major factor also. You fight, you going over to some, if Devin goes fights in, in um, the UK. In the UK it might be, you know, you never know. You never know how that affects him. You never know what happens. You know, how it affects Jack, how it affects him. Now, if Jack comes fight over here and fights um, wherever, then, you know, you never know. You never know how it affects nobody. So you, I really can't say who's going to win or not, but um, I would just say that I fight both of them. You know, um, I was better with Jack, but Devin has more too. Got you.